A totem pole tale is unfolding in Stockton tonight after one mysteriously appeared over the weekend. I just something caught the corner of my eye and and I looked and I and I saw I was like that's a totem pole. People in Stockton haven't seen something like this in Victory Park for nearly two decades. News tonight CBS 13's Drew Balea is live in Stockton with the totem pole history turned mystery. Drew. Yeah, well, these totem poles, that ones like the one that used to be here for decades, they're made to tell stories, stories about family or stories about events. But after this replica totem pole showed up just last week, people started wondering who was trying to tell another story and why. At the northeast edge of Stockton's Victory Park, near the corner of Argonne and Pershing, there's a noticeable absence for those who've been around long enough to remember. It was just a landmark for the park. It's the first thing that I'd see coming, you know, coming down the street on my bike. Kathy Ryan remembers it well. Yeah, I look for that totem pole. A Tlingit Alaskan Native Tribe totem pole stood in this rotted away spot for 67 years. It was this kind of Stockton thing. John Alita with the city of Stockton says a Stockton businessman purchased it while on a trip. He eventually donated it to the city to be put on display in the 1930s. You know, it sort of became known as it was just the people who lived here a long time, they talk about the totem pole. But after years of rotting, the pole was taken down in 1999. It was ceremoniously retired by natives of the tribe from where the pole originated. The great grandson of the carver was in attendance. I think they should restore it with the history of who carved it not who bought it, who brought it. So there was a sense of loss and, and people were, were sad that it went away. Then last week, 18 years after the pole was taken down and no replacement ever made, a mysterious replica appeared. You know, that's, that's not supposed to be there, but what is that? It stopped Alita in his tracks. The much smaller pole made of styrofoam and cardboard tubing was not a public art project that Alita was aware of. So the creative spirit, you know, is alive and well in Stockton. So who put this here and why? The city now looking for the artist and answers. Now, last year, the city approved about $100,000 in funding for a public art project in that very spot. Yeah, but they're still working on what that piece of art will be. Meanwhile, the replica totem pole was taken down for safety reasons and moved to a secure area while they continue searching for the mystery creator. What a story, mm -hmm. though.